All right, so we've been doing leg kick fuckery. I'm going to show you my dirtiest, filthiest leg kick bullshit that I pull, and it works every time. Dude. So, first one is sort of basic. Maybe you already know it. Say he's been checking my kicks a lot. Boom. He knows my he knows my trickery, my fuckery. He knows I'm gonna switch. He checks that one. He knows I'm gonna fake him. It doesn't work, and he checks that one. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hail Mary this motherfucker. I'm just gonna throw it like for real. So what I'm gonna do? I know he's gonna check, right? And I'm gonna go, boom, just like that. Throw that shit hard. If you saw our leg kick, I'll link the leg kick for street fight video. But we did that posting of the hand. That's how I made that happen. I go to kick, and I'm gonna look at his leg. So he wants to check. This works really well. If I've kicked him one time, if I wow got him, now he's like, shit, I better mind my p's and q's to check, right? Boom. He tried to hop over it. <laughs> Sometimes you can jump over it. That didn't work. But check this out. This is my filthiest leg kick fuckery ever. This is like guaranteed points, especially you guys. Hey. If you guys do like a point kickboxing, like open mat. This is perfect and it's dirty. Don't tell anybody I told you about it. A lot of times low level amateurs will be fighting and I'll be like, boom, and then he'll, and then we'll kind of reset and then he'll go. Bam, 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 boom, and we'll kind of reset. You'll try different shit and then take turns, basically, especially at low levels. So here's what you do. We go, bam, 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 bam. We kind of separate. I'm going to root. And when I stop, he'll stop. And then I'm just going to jump forward and kick. Don't load it up. Just jump like this, like, boom. And you can cover a lot of distance. So even if he backs way up, so boom, boom. I do exchange, boom. Right? Moving around. So, it, it surprises them, but here's where it gets really filthy. When you guys do your point kickboxing, or if you do amateur kickboxing, where you wear shin guards and stuff. Look, his shin guard's already getting kind of twisted around. Boom, boom, boom. And he moves out, right? Because he feels his shin guard's fucked up, and he'll go to fix it. Right? What's the first rule? What's the first rule? Protect yourself. When? All the time. Yeah, protect yourself at all times. That's filthy. Uh, when you're new and you need some points, if you're losing the fight, do it. If you're winning the fight, don't do it. <laughs> I'm not going to keep you hard. <laughs> if, you're, if you're wearing headgear and you're fighting and you get his headgear all twisted around like this, right? He'll back up. When he backs up to fix his headgear. But take the kick, man. Take the kick. Take, the kick. take the kick, man. Take the kick. He knows it's coming. They won't know it's coming. We're fighting. We're amateurs. It's our first kickboxing match, right? Boom. His helmet gets all turned around. He's got to back up and fix it, right? I'm going to jump. <laughs> when you jump, when you jump, they want to like do like this. They probably think a body kick, which is not a bad idea. But we're gonna do a jumping leg kick. But don't load it up. It's not like a boom like that or some like, it's nothing fancy. I'm literally just rooting in place. And a lot of times, if we're fighting, and I go like this, he'll, he'll stop. They do it all the time. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Boom, he stops. Kick, all right? Fighting, exchange, he gets away. Stop, kick, like that. It's brutal. Practice it on the bag. See how much distance you can cover. Right? You might, might be worried about jumping in the right hand. Just keep your hands up. So that's filthy. Dirty. Don't really do that, guys. Do it when they're looking, but don't do it when they're not looking. Just kidding. Do it when they're not looking. 